So in this video, we're going to go through how to set up one of the boxes. So we've got the top one right here, sitting on top of the other one. And the first thing we're going to do is take some wood chips and put them right into the back. Into this back part here. And just spread them around a little. And this can be anything. It can be wood chips. It can be kitty litter if you want. Uh, soil. It's just meant to absorb the cricket wastes and make sure things don't start smelling bad too quickly. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is take one of these steel cloth rolls and put it in the back right here. That's where the crickets are going to live on. Uh, then we're going to start putting the frames in. So we're going to find the frame with the thin top. And that one's going to slide into the back. And then we're going to take the uh, frame with the thick top, and we're going to slide that horizontally. If you get stuck like this, it's probably because the wood chips at the bottom got under the frame. So you're going to want to lift it, push this down. This frame has to be absolutely to the bottom so the other frame can slide in. So now we're going to slide the top one in. Wow. Okay. Usually it's not that hard to slide in, but this time it was. Anyway, now this part is set up. So we're going to turn this forward. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of these sliders, which has an open half and a half that's uh, solid. And we're going to slide it in here. And there, this is going to basically close off access so the crickets can't climb out to where the jars will be. So there's a little bit of a trick to it. When you slide it in, aim up at first and then slide it in horizontally. Otherwise, they get kind of sticky and tight to pull in, push in. And if it breaks, let me know. I'll send you replacements. The next thing we're going to do is take one of the pokers. And every bottle has a little hole drilled into the back. So you're going to take the bottle like this, and you're going to take the poker handle and slide it through the hole at the back so it ends up going like this. So basically, if crickets are inside, you can push them out gently. Now, the last thing we're going to do is take one of the bottle collars, and we're going to slide it on like this. Now, when you slide it on, I'm going to do it again closer to the camera. You want to make sure that there's no space here. You do not want to slide it on like that or like that because then crickets are going to escape through those openings. You want to make sure it's nice and snug, so push it in, and now there's absolutely no opening up top. Then we're going to take this and we're going to slide it on like this. And that's how you put one bottle on. So now you need to do that eight more times to set up the re cricket reactor. And uh, if, if this is difficult to do. If it's difficult to slide these things on, then what you m might need to do is take a bit of sandpaper and don't be afraid to sand it down a little bit. Okay, sand over the edges a little bit and uh, and then it should go on a lot easier. This one's already pretty easy. And uh, that's it. This top farm is now set up after I do the next three bottles.